how y'all doing? I'm so sick, y'all. Like, I'm sick. Got my fair food going right here. Let me get y'all some of that. Yeah, but, um, I feel like I don't want to use my camera unless I'm doing, like, tutorials because it's just easier to edit talking videos. I'm just talking, y'all, on my webcam. So, yeah, again, bear with my quality. I love you guys, and hopefully y'all bear with me. But, yeah, so, talking to y'all about my hair journey and my goal for this year and how I feel like I'm going to try to reach that goal. Y'all going to be looking down so I stay on track because y'all know I got problems. Hopefully y'all can hear me too. Again, I don't know what a mic at on here to talk into. But yeah, so my goal this year is to be at Armpit Link. Um, I am about an inch past collarbone right now and stretched it pretty much to my shoulders. So I want to be armpit length by the end of this year. Okay. Um, and what I feel like I'm going to do to try to accomplish that is probably um, staying on my same regimen. I mean, the shampoo, conditioning, co-washing, deep conditioning thing is working for me. Um, it's just that this year I want to do a lot more with my music that I won't like be able to always dedicate so much time to my hair. You know what I'm saying? Not meaning that I'm going to neglect my hair and let it go bad. It's just I'm not going to like baby my hair so much because my hair is now at a healthy stage that it can keep up with itself and, and keep doing good as long as I keep up with the main important parts. So the main thing I probably won't do as much may be co-washing. Even though I love my herbal essence, I probably won't co-wash like every other week. I probably just shampoo, condition, and deep condition every two weeks and stick to doing that instead of like washing my hair some type of way once a week because that just gets to be too much. Taking off these wigs, putting it back on. I'm finna sew some clips because I can't deal with sewing it on and off. I'm annoyed now, y'all. Getting real, real lazy. It's just like as time goes on, hairstyles are getting lazier and lazier. And for me, I'm just getting really lazy. So I'm gonna sew some wig combs in my next wig so I don't have to keep sewing this down. But yeah, just I'm gonna still keep up with my moisturizing and my filling because that's been doing like wonders for me as well as all of my scalp using all the oils that I'm using now, my tea tree, my olive oil, my castor oil, sulfur eight oil and Google Mega Oil. Uh, all the oils I use I mix in one bottle and I put it in my head. Um and still just using less heat. I don't really start out my hair that often. Um usually if it's a wash week I would just pretty much blow dry my hair and I let my hair at least be 80 to 75 percent dry I guess 75 at the least dry before I blow dry it I got me blow dry now so you know I'm all about blow drying but I'm um, not flat on as much like if I flat on my hair it's usually like the day after I blow dry if I feel like I want to wear my hair down but for the most part I wear my hair my hair up when I do wear my hair I wear my hair in buns um also, the main thing that's really, really important for my goal this year is still staying on my six-month relaxer stretch, as well as I'm going to start tech boxing, um every three months. So, I want to change my hair from relaxing in the winter and the summer. It's usually when I relax my hair. And... Those two times of the year is really like the weather is really set. Like it's either really cold in the winter or it's really hot in the summertime. It's really spring and fall that the weather is so iffy that I probably want to relax my hair in the spring and fall where there's iffy weather so that I know my hair will be able to deal with the iffy weather. And I'm going to tech flag in December and September. So for the winter, I mean June. The winter and the summer, I'm going to tech flag which is going to be just me using my relaxer and not letting it process for the a regular amount of time that I do. So probably for like 10, 15 minutes and I wash it off just so that I can deal with my new growth because co-washing and deconditioning, 
does help soften out your new growth. But like I said, I'm going to try to cut back on co-washing as much because it's just a lot to deal with sometimes with me doing music and hair. Like if I'm constantly once a week having to do something like that, I got to spend a lot of time with the blow drying and getting my hair back ready and I can be spending time writing. So trying to work out both things in my life right now, my hair and my music is really hard for me, but I have to, just like last year, I took time and set time aside for my for my hair. I have to set time aside for my music as well. So yes, relaxing. March, I will be relaxing my hair. And September, I will be relaxing my hair. So that means June, I will be text relaxing, and then December, I'll be text relaxing. As well. Hopefully, this makes sense. Um, I'll try to maybe write this in the description box to sum it up because I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm really, I really just don't fare well, so I'm kind of like out of it right now. I'm a lot of bed. Um, as well as questions about um, how I'm taking care of my hair now that I have colored it and being relaxed. Um, I really haven't done anything differently. Just moisturizing and making sure that my hair does not get dry. Like deep conditioning, moisturizing and filling, making sure my hair does not get dry. Um, I don't wash my hair with a color safe shampoo conditioner. I probably should. My color would probably be a lot brighter if I did. So, um, after I relax my hair in March, I'm going to wait two weeks and then color my entire head the golden bronze. And I will probably use color safe shampoo and conditioners just so I can try to keep up with my color because I don't, I'm not really a fan of dyeing that often. So I probably don't, I don't want to dye my hair that often. So color safe shampoos and conditioners is what I need to use. But like I said, for the most part, just Keep my hair conditioned, moisturized, and still the well from keeping my hair, you know, still healthy. Like the color, color of my hair didn't really make a difference for me because after coloring, I deep conditioned for two hours and moisturized and still my hair and all was well. So I feel like as long as you keep up with your regimen, no matter what you kind of do to your hair, staying up with your regimen helps like repair all the damage that we do to our hair on a regular basis. Anyway, so yeah, that is pretty much my hair goal for this year to get the armpit length and um just gonna keep up with my shampoos, conditions, deep conditions, moisturizing, filling. Okay. I'm gonna have videos up um my co washing video will be probably one of the next hair videos I post. Um this week is a wash week so I will be shampooing, conditioning and deep conditioning my hair. So that'll be another video that'll be coming up. So just stay tuned. Again, like I said, for everything I got going on, stay tuned. And I'm out of here.